Okay, so now we verified our root password, and we can either, we can log into Antman, and we can log in via SSH to the Ansel OS. So it's the same credentials, it's the same uh, user on the the Ansel OS uh, for authenticating in both places. All right, so now we still can't uh, activate in Ant Hill. Ant Hill can't find your Ansel. So there might be a couple of reasons for that. First thing, let's go here to About and look at our Antman version. I've got 0.9.3a. We need to be at 0.9.0 or above. Uh, we should be at the latest. Currently, it's this version right here. Uh, the other thing we can check is the Ant Hill service. So if we go here into Settings, System Services, the very top we have Ant Hill D. That should be started. If it's not, go ahead and click the green button that says Start right next to it. Okay, now with that in place, the question is can the Ansel actually talk to the public internet? From Antman, we can test that by going into Manage Templates and we can try downloading a template. So here I can just click on one of these and see if it starts downloading. Um, should give you a progress bar. Uh, if you can't connect to the internet uh, for some reason, it will give you an error message here. Uh, we can test these things from the from SSH from the command line. So from here, let me hide this down here. So from the terminal, we can do a service ant hill d status. And it tells me it started. If it's not started, we can say start or restart. And it should start the service. Uh, if you get an error, submit it to support. And we'll see what we can do from there. All right, Ant Hill D is working. Now we need to find out if we can talk to the public internet. So let's do a ping. And we can do 8.8. .8. How about 4.4? .4? We'll give 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 a rest. Give it a break. Okay. So there, we're getting replies. That means our default gateway is correct. Um, if you're not getting replies, we can check our default gateway with the command route minus n. Here, our first destination is 0.0.0.0. And our gateway is, in my case, is 192.168.1.254. So this should be the address of your routers private side. So let's take a look at uh, this lovely diagram here. So this is your typical setup. You have a router connected to the public internet and then on the private side you have some computers and you have your Ansel. So your router will have an IP address on the local LAN. In this case, in the diagram, it's uh, 192.168.1.1. Uh, mine was ended in 254. Yours might be different. It might be 0 0.1. It might be 0 0.254. Um, so, but you need to have the correct default gateway or address for your router. So let's go back to the terminal. And what's the next thing we can test? We can test if we can... Uh, ping by domain name. So let's try google.com. Okay, so here I'm getting a replies. So that's good. Uh, if you're not, it could be that you're not uh, resolving domain names. So here you can see this name, google.com, was resolved to that IP address. We could also try ping anthill.ansel.com might be a better test. And there we're getting responses. Okay, and you can see it resolved to an IP address. If it's not, we can check the resolve.conf file. We can say cat slash etsy slash resolve without an E on the end. And here you can see uh, we have a listing for a name server, and this is the same as my router. It's just acting as a as a DNS cache. Um, but it could be 8.8.8 .8 .8 or another DNS server that uh, that you're on your network. Okay, so that needs to be configured correctly. So if you're using DHCP, 
So for instance, in your network configuration, if your BR0 is set for DHCP here instead of static, then you should have received all that information from your router. If you're still not connecting to the outside world, it could be that you have a firewall that's blocking. Okay, if this is an older Ansel, something you've had a little while, and you've set a static IP address, go in here to edit network defaults and double check that you have set a proper default gateway. You've selected the interface that you want it to communicate on, and you have a DNS server listed. And don't forget the keyword name server here. You can look at this tooltip to get a little explanation on that. Okay. So we got those things, the ping, the resolve. One last thing that I want to throw in here. If you can't get into Ant-Man, we can also check that on SSH with service Ant-Man status. And we can always restart that as well. And when we do this, if it's if it's not starting, we will probably get some error messages here that uh, can help us troubleshoot. Um, once you start it, uh, it will or restart it. It could take 30 seconds to a minute before it comes back, um, or before you can see it in your uh, browser again. So give so give it a minute. All right. So at that point, uh, if you got all those things in place and you can talk to the public internet, you should be able to register in Ant Hill. Okay, so I think that will do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Let's see if this comes back. Maybe I'll time warp. There it is. Great. So it worked.